when I went through my divorce, I was really scatterbrained and I couldn't really focus on the things I needed to focus on because I was had so much anxiety. And I had tried yoga before in college and then again when I when in between children and I wasn't really there yet. Like my mental right. focus I wasn't mature enough mentally to really appreciate it. So huh. I turned to that during my divorce and I was able to really quiet my mind and kind of just get re-energized and find the drive again and so during covid it that time was very reminiscent to me of how i was feeling during my divorce and when i was going through a tough time and i thought okay. wow so many people are going through something difficult right now whether they're sick or they have a loved one who's sick or they lost their job or they're not making money or right, like right. me i was a business person trying to figure out how to get funding from the government, whatever it was, it was a hard time. And I said to myself, I'm going to focus on yoga and bring that positive energy. I'm going to really infiltrate my life with it. And maybe if I share okay. it on Instagram, it will help other people feel positive and think of ways that they can bring themselves up during this dark time. And so that's what I did. All right. So, so your, your objective went from just uh, what you were going through. And this is what I find intriguing about you. You decided to also, try to be a source of, of encouragement and positivity to others. I think, so I now, think if, you can, if you can release that vibe into the world, nothing bad can happen, right? Because it's positive for no, you and right. it's positive for other people right. too. Right. And how, how could that backfire, right? How could that possibly backfire if you're actually trying to spark someone else? And that's what you've been doing. Because now you're going to refocus your energy. You're going to reinvest in yourself. But in the process, you decided to get your mental strength back. Yeah. Now, right now, how, how, how could you help someone else get an idea of what that's kind of like and what you went through in getting your mental strength back? Because COVID is whipping a lot of people into a frenzy to the point that some are struggling with depression and anxiety and stress to levels they've never even thought of. Absolutely. It's a very stressful time. And I think you know, sometimes the first step is the hardest step to take. Like the yeah. thought of Correct. refocusing your energy or the thought of starting is so onerous that you just can't even get past that. So my advice to everyone is just start very little, you know, <laughs> just like take a step, take any step, any step that is comfortable for you. And that's progress moving forward because those little victories are what is going to enable you to keep going right. in the right direction. Right. Now, now the little the little steps that you saw that you took, what were some of those little steps that you could say someone else could have right in front of them, maybe even right now? What are some of those little steps that they could possibly be looking for as stepping stones to moving into reinvesting in themselves? So I am doing one right now because you see this interview, my hair is blowing all over the place. I want to be in the sunshine. I think to hide in your house and you know, kind of hermit yourself, which we're all guilty of doing sometimes, it could be possibly the worst thing you can do. Get out, five minutes a day, go sit in the sun, you know, connect to that energy of the world. I think that can help. That could be a very simple first step. It's free, it's available to everyone. And That's true. it's something Good. that you can do right away. Okay, all right, I'm writing that down. Get outside, <laughs> it's okay. Get outside, everybody. You heard it from Jessica. Lady <laughs> Jess, has, Lady Jess has, Lady Jess has spoken. Get yourself outside. But now, I have to tell you, you get outside. Let's say you get outside. How can that? How can that type of mindset help a person who's going through trauma? Let's say a divorce. Let, let's say they're dealing uh, with uh, mental health issues. Maybe, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's somebody in their family. How can getting outside and what other steps could you keep in, uh, someone who's dealing with a, some type of mental health issue deal with as well? Okay, well, mental health is a broad term. And obviously, if you're diagnosed with something, you know, these little life tips are not going to be enough, right, to get you where you need to go. So Correct. I'll focus my, my answer to your question on the regular day-to-day -day stresses that we all face and right Perfect. now during COVID or dealing with someone who might Perfect. have a mental illness, right? I, for me, when I was going through my divorce, my mind was just like oh, scattered all the time, right? So 
So yes. I had to focus on something just to kind of get out of that mindset. So I, I went to yoga. For some other okay. people, it could be the gym. For it could okay. be meeting a friend for coffee. Like whatever's going to get your mind off your troubles just for a short period of time because there is a reprieve that your mind will have to just kind of calm down. And that's really what you need because when you're anxious, you're never going to be able to deal with the problem until you're calm enough to reflect upon it. So whatever oh. might give you that space to reflect, that's what you should start with. Okay. All right. So when a person is able to reflect, um, they may start to figure out that maybe um, their life, of course, they'll recognize their life is not as it was uh, before March, <laughs> before yeah. quarantine started to shut everything down and lives began to be strained. So now that they look at their life, maybe their income is different, maybe life is different. You you worked you worked uh, the stock exchange, right? At yeah. one time, you, I mean, you're you're business minded. You're a lady boss. I, I mean, you. You're, okay, no, I'm just saying. You're. I know you got that term. I seen it on your page, but I I recognize that even more when we were doing when we were doing the pre show prep. But as a lady boss, how can people who have maybe lost their income rebrand or refocus their life and reinvest in themselves and start all over again? What are some suggestions you have for people? I think it's the best time to do that <laughs> because, listen, we all get in a rut, right? Oh, this is what I do. This is who I am. Yeah. This is what I enjoy. And you just kind of on repeat. And that eventually right. wears on you. But we're given this opportunity right now where we don't have to do what we always did before, whether that's forced upon you right. or whether that's right. a choice that you made because you're you know, fearful of going back to work or whatever it is. I think this is an opportunity. And I feel that the best time to reinvent yourself is when your feet are to the fire because you are motivated, right? Yeah, you don't need true. to actually get you're yourself hungry. up for yeah. the motivation. Like it's there. Yeah. You need yeah. money. Yeah. You need to live. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I think that the times that I've pivoted in my life, and there have been a few, and the times that Ed and I have pivoted in business are when our feet are to the fire. It's a very yeah. motivating thing. So I would say think about, forget about the person you were, right? Think about who you are now. What do you enjoy? How can you monetize that? So for me, I love yoga, okay? This has become a really yeah. important part of my life. And right. I thought to myself while I was home during COVID, I was with my kids and we, I couldn't go to work. My shops were closed. And I'm like, well, I love yoga. How can I monetize that? Oh, I could become yeah. a certified yoga instructor. So I, cool. now I go online. I find a school. I research that. That gives me something to do. Now I'm getting right. positive, right? right? I'm right. doing something. I have a goal. And so I find this program that I love. Now I have a community of people who are in the program with me. So okay. now I don't feel alone. And so now right. I have a goal. I'm working towards my yoga instructing license. And here I go. And that takes a couple of months. And now I can go out and do something I love and make money for it, from it. And who doesn't want to do that? So I think yeah. reach within and see what you like to do, what you're good at. Sometimes those are not the same things. You know, sometimes we yeah. do, we're great at something we don't enjoy, but maybe you push yourself a little bit. When I was in law school, I hated public speaking. The terrible oh, trait for an attorney. What but you're so good. But you're so good at it. Because, because <laughs> I yes. didn't lean into my fear. Instead of saying, I'm okay. scared, I'm right. shy away from that. I said, you know what? I'm going to join the moot court team. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to start speaking. And the more I did it, the better it became and the more fluid I became. So right. sometimes you have to lean into something that gives you a little bit of trepidation. And then you can yeah, do something you, you, great of it. <laughs> 